Guys, it's Patriot Contraptions here. Check this out. We're looking at some of the 3D prints I've done from my Trunks X1 3D printer. So right off the bat, you saw this in a previous video. This is my first ever 3D print that successfully turned out. This is our little Patriot Contraptions logo. And it was set on the 0.3 millimeter, and I think they had the filament setting at about 200 degrees. At any rate, don't use those settings. It's not right. But hey, it's still turned out, so it's on my 3D printed list for today. Now right next to it, we have the much better quality Patriot gear. You can see much less distortion on the layers. This is on the 0.2 millimeter setting with the 205 degree print, which actually the temperature varies. I've been watching the gauge throughout the print from about 203 to 205. So it's not always exactly the same temperature, obviously, due to the current going to the actual extruder. Now, right here we just have a fun print I made of a little Easter bunny. Didn't put much design time into it, but still turned out. You can see that the top of it here isn't quite the prettiest, and I'm still having some issues with the top of prints. But all around, I'm happy with it. It was a little 10-minute print just to show some of my friends. So, put him back over here. Then on this side, we have a little mount for a Nerf gun. I'll be hopefully doing some reviews on this later. But it slides on the rail like this. And then, you'll be able to hook stuff through on the side. And then in the very back here, we have some fun projects. So this is my Airsoft 3D printed minigun. See here, it's got a little magazine on the side. And this one has some issues, not because it turned out bad in the print, but because I actually, if you look at it, it's warped from heat. That's because I left it in my car. So PLA does not like being left in a hot car on a sunny day, so definitely don't do that. But it still sort of works. Pulls back, shoots forward, shoots a little BB out. Now right next to it, we do have a working model. This is the Gen 2. It's got a little drum mag on it. And you can see the barrels on this are actually hollow right here. So the 3D printer did a great job keeping its tolerance on these small little 5mm barrels. Now on the inside, I talked about this in a previous video, I needed these two parts to fit together. So this is a 6mm rod going into a 7mm hole. And it's, it fits pretty tight. There's not much wiggle room here at all. See I'm trying to move it up and down, it's not really moving back and forth, it just goes in and out. Nice and smooth, so really happy with that. And also check out the handle on this, it's turned out great. Now here. This is some supports from when I printed it, and it's important when you're 3D printing things to remember, you're printing like this, so if there's no support under this handle, it's going to droop down when you're printing. Filament just can't hang there. So I had some supports that stretch down all the way to here that I've cut away since then. Now, right in the very back here, we have our bigger model, which really shows off the quality of the Trunk CX-1 on this section. These are all on that 205 degree setting, 0.2 millimeter layer. And this actually is a four part model. You have your plunger, you have the back section, and this is because it's got a stop in there so you can't pull it out. And we've got the nice handle. And on the front here, the barrels actually spin so you can pull this off and see the different rotary job here. And it did have a little problem on the actual end of it, not sure. I think that was more due to the fact that the bed wasn't quite working right that day. But I have since not had that problem reoccur, so go figure. But it turned out pretty nice. And finally, one of my first little Airsoft prints. This little Airsoft 3D lighter print. This one's kind of cool because you take a BB, like this one here, drop it in the end here, pull back, oh, come back here BB. Got it, okay. So, a little bit annoying to load, but you drop the BB in. See the BB down there? Yeah, let's see if we can get this on the camera. There we go. The BB goes back. It actually falls in to the little lighter. Shaking around. And then when you pull back, it drops down, and it shoots it out. So that's just a fun print I made. If you want to check this out, I actually have it on my Shapeway store, which I added at the top of my channel on the right-hand side. You can access that, and you can actually buy a model of this that will be much higher quality. 
but I'm just having fun with this printer. I love the Trunk CX-1. Feel free to show me what you've printed on yours. And as always, have a fantastic day. Patriot Contractions, signing out.